Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have partnered with American Express to share with you one of my favorite comfort foods for the fall time. We're actually gonna be making broccoli and cheese soup, but I'm gonna show you guys how you can make this super fast. It takes less than 30 minutes to cook this. You can make it in one pot. And on top of that, this is a very scalable recipe. So you guys can make it for just one person, two people, or if you have like a dinner party that you're hosting, this is a perfect recipe to make for that as well. So all of the ingredients that you guys are seeing here, you can actually purchase them on Amazon Fresh and they will be delivered to your door, which you guys know how I feel about shopping your pajamas. So I am all about that. Also, don't forget to use your American Express gold card so you guys can earn points on all of your purchases. My husband and I have actually been American Express card members for a really long time and one of the things that we like about the gold card in particular is that you can earn four times points on all of your Amazon fresh purchases, which I think is just simply amazing. So with all that said, let's go ahead and jump into the recipe. So we're going to start by creating the base of the soup. This is probably the most important step out of the entire recipe. So I have the stove on medium high heat and I'm adding two tablespoons of butter and I'm just kind of letting that brown up a little bit. Then I'm gonna add a fourth of an onion. I'm gonna mince that up, add it to my butter, and let that saute for about one to two minutes until it's nice and translucent. Then I'm gonna be adding a small clove of garlic and you wanna make sure it's nice and minced. This doesn't need to cook very long, just until you can smell the garlic. After that, we're going to add two tablespoons of flour. And this is what's going to thicken up the soup, so definitely don't skip this step. I'm making sure to mix that really well with that butter so it's nice and mixed together. It's gonna form almost like a paste. And you just wanna cook it on medium low heat for about two to three minutes. Then we're going to be adding two cups of half and half. And the trick to eliminate any of those lumpiness that you can get from that flour is to use cold half and half. So I'm using half and half, but you can use milk. You could also use a heavy whipping cream, just kind of depending on how rich you want this. I think half and half is a really nice compromise. And mixing that really well until all of the flour has dissolved. And then I'm adding two cups of chicken stock. You could also use vegetable stock if you wish, but I find that the chicken stock adds an, an extra element of flavor that I really like. And then we're gonna add our broccoli. So I'm using about two cups of broccoli. You can chop this up as little or leave it as chunky as you want. I personally like it super chunky. I like to be able to like see my broccoli, but the consistency is totally up to you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add my broccoli. I'm going to bring that back up to a simmer, so leave it on medium heat. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and season it with a little bit of cayenne pepper. And the cayenne pepper, even though it sounds like it would be super spicy, it's not. It just adds a little bit of extra flavor. I'm adding very little of it, about a fourth of a teaspoon. And I'm going to cook that for about five to six minutes. I'm gonna give it time for that broccoli to soften up a little bit, bring it back up to a simmer. It's okay if you start to see um, tiny bubbles, but just don't let it come to a full boil because your soup is gonna start falling apart. Now we move on to the good stuff. This is where all the magic happens. We're gonna be adding two different types of cheeses. I'm using a Gouda and a medium cheddar. I would definitely say to grate it yourself because the bag ones, um, they usually don't melt quite as well. So go ahead and grate your own. So I did use one and a half cups of cheddar and one and a half cup of the Gouda. And you want to add the cheese slowly. A little bit of time, mix it, then add a little bit more and then mix it until it is all completely melted. Um, this way it melts really evenly and really nicely. You get that silky smooth texture. We are almost done, you guys. I'm telling you, this recipe is so quick. Once you guys try it, you're gonna wonder why you never made it. <laughs> Um, the last little trick, and this is totally optional, but um, if you use a lot of white cheeses like I did, it is gonna lack a little bit of that golden yellow color, so you can add just a tiny bit of turmeric to it, and this is going to increase that yellow color. It's gonna look more like your traditional broccoli cheese soup. Again, this is just for aesthetics. It does absolutely nothing for the flavor. And we are ready to plate our soup. delicious broccoli cheese soup. 
I like to add a few extra touches. I'll add a little bit of raw broccoli on top. You could totally like steam this beforehand, but I do like the crunch of the actual broccoli and then some extra cheese, some red chili flakes, some pepper, and then I also love finishing salt. If you guys have never used finishing salt, they are basically like crystallized chunks of salt and they're just absolutely delicious to top any dish off. So as always, I will have all of the ingredients and measurements down below in the info box for you guys. If you're new to my channel, I hope you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.